Cappy, cappy, cappy. I hope that you are happy. So um, I am trying to do quick readings this week. I'm kind of cutting out most of the intuitive messages for the signs and I'm going to do the intuitive messages as separate readings if I get something through in bulk. I do have something through for today so it, it could be for you it could not be but at some point I'm going to do a reading about event horizon so watch out for that I don't know what it means um like literally that's all I've got so far so I'm curious to kind of delve more into that but if you're interested in that you can watch out for it uh so yeah quicker readings because you know what Cappy time is money <laughs> you know you can't be hanging around here all day um I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading it's my own spin on it I've got a, it's like a, a slight variation just because I feel more comfortable reading it that way it kind of works better for me um but yeah uh, I guess we're gonna kick off so um, I mean hopefully not kick off I don't want to fight you Cappy I like I, I like having uh, my cups of coffee with you um so the song that's randomized for your reading as I was setting up was was history I can't even speak anymore history repeating by propeller heads and Shirley Bassey now we're gonna go dive down a rabbit hole here okay um I had a little bit of time between setting up and um, I went and made myself a coffee I just waited for my son to finish his google classroom so I ended up googling Shirley Bassey Shirley Bassey kind of means a lot to me because I remember when I was very young um, I watched one of her videos, her performance videos, um, on repeat, <laughs> like all the time. It was um, at my grandma and granddad's house and they there wasn't a huge amount to do there. We only had three TV channels at the time and one TV so I got bored quite a lot and had to amuse myself. Uh, but when I did get a hold of the TV and nothing was on, it was that video that I wanted to watch. Shirley Bassey looking like an absolute diva in that glamorous sparkly dress. I remember picking off sparkles and like throwing them to the audience. So um, I don't know if my granddad's around for your reading, possibly. Uh, so that's nice if he is because he was lovely um, but when I went on to this bit of a deep dive with uh, Shirley Bassey I was googling the songs because I've only actually got history repeating on my light songs from her and I was thinking I wonder if it is history repeating that, that Capricorn needs or if it's a different song so I'm there making my coffee and I'm singing gold finger and being all dramatic like I was when I, when I was a kid and I wanted to be Shirley Bassey <laughs> um, and pay big spender and diamonds are forever you know I was like doing the whole routine um, and then I was googling the songs to see if there was any others that I'd kind of forgotten about and I didn't realise but she had an album called I Capricorn it's a song and an album right <laughs> and like I looked up her birth chart she is a Capricorn I was like oh my god so I don't know if I need to do like I kind of like the idea of doing celebrity birth chart readings um you know they are in the public eye so I feel like it's not too much of a of an investigate and you know an invasion of privacy but it might be interesting to talk about everybody's charts a bit more look at me waffling on I don't know what it is about Capricorn energy it's not just me that does it as well I see it with other signs like awakening to spirit she always has a massive chat with um the Capricorn viewers I'm sorry I don't maybe you're just really chatty uh or maybe you're a really good listener I don't know uh but yeah I was looking like she has Mercury in Acra um yeah Mercury in Aquarius uh, what Venus in Pisces, Mars in Scorpio, uh, Pluto in Cancer. So no wonder she was super sexy. Mars in Scorpio and Pluto in Cancer. Woo! And Venus in Pisces as well. Sexy. So um, I don't know why I'm talking about Shirley Bassey so much. <laughs> I don't know why it feels like she's so important, but I couldn't believe she was Capricorn. I was like, that is the weirdest thing. And it's weird that I, instead of just taking the song that was I was given, I was like, maybe this isn't the right song. I've not got any of other you know it's like it was trying to get me to Shirley Bassey rather than the song uh, so I don't know maybe um a specific song that I've mentioned is more appropriate for you but if I go with history repeating it's like maybe you're caught in some sort of cycle uh you know you could be in some kind of karmic loop where you know you keep repeating the same pattern of behavior over and over again almost like Groundhog Day you can't break out of it um we'll see what happens but I said I'm not doing intuitive stuff and I'm here doing intuitive stuff so oh just refueling my coffee there and we'll get going so <clears throat> what do we have then please highest good please okay so expansion north uh, maybe you're moving north for something maybe you're traveling north for something on your map 
um, but expansion. So maybe you've got some kind of business that you're expanding. Maybe you're expanding your uh, your your network, right, of uh, contacts. Um, but there's something, some idea, some project, and you you may be taking it up to the next level. Um, you may be expanding your mind, broadening your perspective, uh, opening up to new ideas, uh, looking at things in different ways than perhaps what you have done in the past. On the underline, you've got home and earth. That is actually very earth, earth sign energy, Capricorn energy. So um, just looking at, at her little um, her little hat there, it's actually got like a... It kind of goes off up a, up a hill in the distance there. It's, it's quite cute, actually, that. Um, Shirley Bassey was from Wales, which I knew, but I kind of forgot about. I think of her as very Americanized actually, now. You know, she's this big diva, this big famous woman. You know, she was on videos, like video cassettes. Um, but, yeah, and then I was like, she was from Wales. I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't do um, it's a terrible Welsh accent. It's very offensive. I'm sorry, anyone from Wales. Um yeah, just looking at all the intro. Maybe you're into like mathematics, astrology, astronomy. Maybe you're doing your birth chart. Funny that I was talking about Shirley Bassey's birth chart. Um, okay, let's keep going. What number's that actually? Number one. Oh, Capricorn, I do feel like maybe you're putting yourself first. Uh, looking after number one, putting yourself first, prioritizing yourself, or at least sorting out your priorities. I was actually picking up a shift for you. I think it was a couple of days ago I picked up the Capricorn shift um, and you'd had this tower moment building in your last few readings and then it was kind of like that tower moment was implemented and now it feels like you are it feels a little bit like you are in the process of it's like you've done some kind of, re it's hard to explain the energy it's not my energy it's your energy it's like you've done some kind of uh, reassessment You've put the wheels in motion with something, but it's like you're very clear now. You're very clear. You may not be clear, clear about what you want or where you're headed, but I think you're very, very clear about what you don't want and what you want to cut out. So it's almost like you've kind of reassessed and reorganized and you've got a, either a different plan or you've refined the plan. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but that's the kind of feeling that I got. It's, it feels like, feels a little bit like taking back control, um, if you felt a little bit out of control, if you feel like, um, you know, you can't, like, I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to do the intuitive stuff, but I can't help it if it's coming through. I need to kind of say, because it it's definitely for your sign. Um, it's like, if you feel a little bit like things have been out of your control, the things that you've been trying haven't been working, you're kind of a, a victim, like a pawn in, you know, the game of the system. Um, it's almost like you've realized now how, how, how you can take steps to, take back the control of your own life in a way. Um, it feels like you're empowered. It feels like um, Emperor Empress um, mode, you know, not the, you know, we all shift in and out of those energies um, from time to time. It feels like you're in, like you're in the driver's seat of your own life almost. Uh, let's go. What else do we have please for Cappy? Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. What energy are you in right, right now? Energy for Cappy please. The lamb. <laughs> Maybe you don't feel it. Maybe you don't feel like you're in that energy. Maybe you feel like, you know, the sacrificial lamb in some kind of situation. Uh, but the lamb is very, very sweet, very innocent, very gentle, very kind. Um, it's coming through as very, very innocent to me today. I'm actually thinking that's not me. I'm not innocent. Wait. Uh, but it, there's there's some kind of purity here, purity of intention, purity of purpose. Um feels quite new not quite seeing how the lamb's fitting in just yet what's that downwards is that water or is that earth earth isn't it with the cross um so being down to earth <laughs> i always think he looks like he's got a plum bob <laughs> you know from the sins above his head um so if we're talking about The Sims for a second and plum bobs, you've got a lot of emotions going on here. You've got what sadness, happiness, a little bit of anger there, embarrassment, happiness again, fear, 
So you may be going through a lot of different emotions at the moment. Or you have been doing. Maybe you've been exploring your, your emotions. Figuring out what does and doesn't make you happy. Feel, figuring out your own emotions and like what has an impact on your emotions. Um, so what's affecting my mood? Why am I feeling the way that I'm feeling? Um, and kind of getting to the, with, with it being like uh, concentric, it's like getting to the core of the matter, the core of the situation. But then it's expanding, right? It's expanding from this center. Your purple can mean like intuition as well. So expanding outwards from some kind of intuitive center and using your emotions in the situation, perhaps. Right, let's just go to the Celtic cross. So um, again, this is my own slight variation on it. So if you're familiar with it, you may find one or two things are slightly different, but this is just the way that I'm finding it works best for me. So what is the heart of the matter, please? What is the heart of the matter for Capricorn? The heart of the matter, please, for Capricorn. That's too many cards. That's, I, I think they want me to take this one. Um, so these kind of came out in reverse, didn't they? So something, so there's some kind of like new start. I think you're ready to start something new. I think you've made your decision with the three of fire. Uh, you've weighed up your choices. You've made your decision. This is what it feels like to me, actually. It feels like I had a cat hair in my mouth. Ooh. Um, it feels like you've weighed up your options. You've figured out your emotions in a situation you're prioritizing yourself you're putting yourself first taking back control of your own life getting into the driver's seat ready to go but there's a hold up that new start isn't happening yet because you need to do that in a work and really kind of get that find that happiness within yourself uh you, you are looking at things from a new perspective you are really doing a lot of assessment i'm feeling that uh and clearing out something that you're chained to or uh, stepping away from um this is the devil, no, this is not the devil card. Why am I reading it as the devil card? Transformation. This is the new start. This is like brand new life, phoenix from the ashes. But you're not, there's a hold up. There's a hold up. And it's something to do with, it's something to do with your core happiness, which is what this is doing here, right? Okay. So the heart of the reading, getting in the driver's seat, making a decision, ready to move on. What's the blockage? What's the obstacle, please, here for Cappy? COVID, <laughs> if there was a COVID card in the tarot, six of earth. So the obstacle is something to do with um, equal give and take, uh, balance, uh, some kind of uh, material um, equal fair and share, equal give and take. Six of earth is kind of like um, a correction of some kind of material imbalance. So it could be some kind of financial problem um where it's like that the scales need to be balanced out um you could be in a position where you can give um some kind of some kind of tangible thing to others you could be the person choosing to rebalance the situation uh so it's like you may see something that's quite unfair in terms of like either workload or uh, money or uh, it can be even things like advice or the amount of work that people are putting into something but, but there's something of tangible value where there's some kind of balancing out. It may be something to do with work because this kind of gives me this kind of emperor energy or you're in the position to, to do this, to make things fair. So you can't move forward yet because you're waiting for something to balance out um, in terms of uh, something tangible and real. Okay, so uh, what's led up to this situation? What led up to you making this decision, please? What led up to you happy making this decision? Uh, the nine of earth so you wanted greater independence um, in some kind of situation um this is you uh, this is very capricorn energy actually you are you're, you're a cardinal sign you are a sign that is um you can be, you, you're a brilliant team player you know very supportive especially when you're in a position to help help others uh but you are um you are really strong on your own you know you can work on your own you can uh, be single you can live on your own you can set up your own business you know it's it's very capricorny energy to be able to capricorny <laughs> you're a little bit corny um so very capricorn like energy to be able to to be independent and uh to not feel like you are dependent on others for money or you know dependent on others for your security it's like i want to be financially secure on my own i don't want to feel like I'm asking for handouts. I don't want to feel like I'm a burden to anyone else. I want to make sure that 
that I'm uh, strong in a kind of material earthy sense um so yeah you could have wanted to set up your own business you could have wanted more independence at work you could have wanted to be single and leave a relationship or you know not be interested in having a relationship with other people so there's a lot of things but this is kind of you on your own um being really really good on your own uh, taking good care of yourself you know making sure you know making sure you get your sleep getting your five a day which keeps coming up for you uh, making sure that you know you have that your house is tidy all that kind of thing like really kind of being good on your own standing on your own two feet so then this decision has come in because i think you've had this it could be that you wanted this or you had this making a decision but needing to balance something out in some sort of situation okay so uh what do i want to go to next so what's your hope here please what's your hope nine of fire so you've got two nines so i do feel like you are possibly closing something out or dealing with something that's been quite a long process the nine of fire is the wounded warrior uh, it's interesting that it's interesting that your hope is the nine of fire i would say that because the nine of fire is a perseverance energy for me is it's the ability to um keep picking yourself up when you fall down, uh, you know, dust off your knees, get back on the bike, get back on the horse, whatever kind of <laughs> uh, phrase you want to use. Um, so this is a very, you being very, very strong, being able to um, persevere in a situation and reach that finish line. Um, I, it's one of my favorite cards in a weird way because it's a difficult card. It, it means it means you're feeling really kind of beaten down by something that's been a long process. But it's almost like if you learn the lessons that come along with that, if you learn how to persevere, how to be patient, how to persist with something, this brings you closer to that emperor or empress energy, which, you know, is like um, feeling very fulfilled, feeling very empowered. So it, this is you learning the lessons from this experience i am going to read from the book i feel like i need to read from the book and figure out what this is uh caution so this is your hope caution uncertainty re-evaluating circumstances i need to stop wait and look around me before proceeding further my sense of uncertainty is my inner wisdom telling me to bring illumination to my situation to allow insights to arise and gu guide me before i take my next step questioning is good I will look carefully to see if a different path may be right for me at this point. So you are definitely figuring out what path you want to take, right? Waiting for something to balance out, hoping to be able to persevere with the situation. What I like about this card is this is um, in a very similar way to this Nine of Earth or the Nine of Cups. This to me says that you are able to be self-reliant. Um, I always think of this fairy as like, is she a fairy or a princess, whatever she is? Uh, she's entertaining herself in the darkest moments. She's finding inner illumination. She's holding on to her dreams and wishes, um, finding light in the darkness. So you could be doing something where your hope is to find the light in the darkness. Your hope is to be able to hold on to your dreams and wishes while you're persevering with something. Uh, I'm going to move to the subconscious now. Now, this may be something that you're not actually aware of. You may not be looking at this aspect inside yourself. So when this card comes out, your initial re reaction might be, no, what are you talking about? That's not me. Spend a little bit of time with it um, because if it is a part of your subconscious that you're not aware of, actually being able to look at it um, may actually be quite revolutionary for you it may really help you in your situation to acknowledge uh, subconscious feelings uh, because then you can deal with them right so what's going on subconsciously please for capricorn there's that transformation card so you i really do feel like subconsciously you're ready for that new start you're ready for that you're ready for the, whatever the cycle is that you're in. And it, so maybe that that song is for you, history repeating. It's like, it's like I know where I want to go with that North Star there. Um, but I'm stuck in some kind of like never ending cycle. I'm stuck in this, it could be a karmic cycle that you just can't break out of. Um, I feel like it's imposed on you. I don't think it's something that you're necessarily bringing about i think it's uh, circumstances around you it could just be covid right lockdown it's like is this ever going to end 
but you want transformation you want the rebirth you you're hearing the call which is what's helping you to make a decision and i think you really are ready to kind of let go let go of something from the past there it's like the whatever that is it's disintegrating in the hands um so ready to let go of something because then you can move on to something new i'm just noticing the wishes here in her hands and this fiery energy here in her hands so it's like the wishes breaking apart or wishes reforming so it's something i think to do with your wishes wishes reforming feels right because it's transformation so it's like that that um simile of a butterfly a caterpillar into a butterfly they have to completely break down within the chrysalis in order to reform so you, something's completely breaking down for you and you're reassessing your wishes. It may be that you had a wish, you had a goal and it, look, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Look, because she's got that little light there in the, in the boat and it's like all those little leaves are almost star shaped. So it's something to do with your hopes, your dreams, your, your wishes. But subconsciously you may not be aware that you have to let go of something or you have to let something disintegrate in order for it to reform as as this new thing I, mm, interesting right okay strength you're showing us the lamb card so what is capricorn strength please and what is capricorn strength what is their greatest strength in this situation We've got a few cards here. I'm going to take the page of water because that's what showed first, but I will acknowledge all of them. It could be that your strength is um, your imagination, um, holding on to childhood wishes, childhood dreams, the ability to be quite childlike and pure and innocent. Yeah. So it's revisiting, um, re revisiting a time when you were more childlike, you were more innocent, you were more naive. What did you wish for? What did you hope for? Noticing these um, lilies down here as well. Lilies or lotus flowers, I don't know what they are. Um, I think wanting purity, something about purity. So your strength is your, strength is your purity, your strength is your sweetness. Some kind of naivety to do with emotions. Perhaps your emotions are very pure. Perhaps your emotions are very unadulterated. No. Um, diluted. No. Yeah, diluted. Perhaps you've got very pure emotions. They're not diluted by, um, you know, adult experience and com conflicts and, and, you know, the waters aren't muddied. That, yeah, that's what they were trying to get me to. The water, your, your emotional waters aren't muddied. Or... You're doing something, sorry, they're showing me a, fil a filter. You're doing something, you're in some sort of process where you're um, filtering your own emotions to get rid of all the emotional gunk that doesn't serve you anymore. You're trying to get back to a more, a sweeter, purer, more childlike space, I think. But this is your strength. So don't ever feel like I'm too naive, I'm too uh, emotionally immature. It's, it's actually showing as your strength because it's almost like um, other people can see that and how genuine that is and how um, how you mean what you say when you, you know, you, you're very in touch with your emotions in a very childlike kind of beautiful way is the way that I'm reading it. It could be an apology. It could also be your ability to apologize is your strength. I don't know. Um, so the page of water. So we've also got the page of air. So two pages. These are both students. These are both learning. So some kind of emotional learning, uh, thinking things through. Um, it's like, I feel like it's processing emotions and literally processing. You know, if you talk about science again, if you process something, you put it through a machine, you filter it, you, you get into some kind of emotional, you're acknowledging some kind of emotional core. About your dreams and wishes, star there again, yeah, star card, uh, childhood dreams, childhood wishes, um, going back to something that's simpler, something that's pure, um, can sometimes mean reward and recognition, being in the spotlight, but I'm seeing this as something to do with, if 
it's coming through as i was saying right at the start of the reading it's something about what you want what you want and it's something very sweet it's coming it's coming from a part of you that is very sweet six of air so you this is moving forwards the ability to move on um, leaving behind, it's like leaving the gunk behind, the emotional gunk, it's like um, this doesn't serve me any, anymore, so I'm, I'm getting rid of, I'm shedding anything that doesn't serve me anymore emotionally, I'm logically processing my emotions, you could be talking your emotions through, you could be seeing like a counsellor or something like this, where, or it could just be with a friend, or you could be doing this on your own, it's, you, you, you're processing processing emotions uh could be writing it down right writing down your thoughts and your feelings Pro so it's logical or verbal process of your emotions which helps you to understand them and drop the the weight the emotional weight the, the gunk the, ba the baggage that doesn't serve you anymore which allows you to move to a much sweeter higher vibrational energy um it's just coming through as very very pure and the four of air, that's the four of swords. So here you are. Yeah, you may be processing just on your own. You may just be taking time out to, to think. Um, this is the need to kind of go solo for a while. Uh, this is telling me fly solo, which could be referring to this. Fly solo for a while. Uh, taking yourself away from the noise um, to, yeah, do that emotional processing. Again, air is, is swords energy. It's thoughts, logic, processing. You're processing, processing, processing. And it's taking you to... They just keep showing me like filtering, but it's not filtering. It's um, uh, the essence. It's it's when you uh, it's when you they show me science equipment. Um, it's when you because um, <laughs> they're actually showing me when when it drips through. Right, it's, they're showing me the, the drip. It's coming out of like the tubes. Um, you've got the the essence. You've gone to the essence of something, and it's to do with your wishes. Okay, cool. I was excited to do your reading because I was, I did uh, cancers yesterday on Monday. I'm trying to kind of do these on bulk, but I'm asking for them to be, to be significant for whatever's going on for you on the day it's published. So for you, it's Thursday. So I'm asking for what's going on for you on Thursday. So I'm doing your reading on Wednesday and this kind of gap between doing cancers reading and your reading, um, I've, I've just been picking up on your energy and, and thinking what's going on I can tell something's going on for Capricorn and it feels quite important so I've been kind of itching to do your reading um right okay fear so what's Cappy's fear please what's Cappy's fear in this situation what's Cappy afraid of my throat tightened then like my throat got so sore it's like you know like I don't have an Adam's apple but like you know you know when you um you know when you're a bit poorly and it's hard to swallow Seven of Earth. Can you explain this to me? Why is the Seven of Earth Captain's fear, please? Messenger of Water. Something to do with... I mean, the Messenger of Water, I feel, is you communicating your feelings. You know, you've done, you've done the... The, you know the analysis it's going through is quite scientific it's like scientifically processing emotions um you've done the analysis it's like no matter which way i look at this the outcome's always the same i know i've made my de my decision but you need to communicate this and you're really quite scared of communicating it this is communicating feelings so the fear is that the seven of earth talks about planting seeds and watching them grow it talks about the you know the time it takes to do something so it's something to do with either you're afraid of putting in the work in order to communicate something about your feelings or you are afraid that your your time and investment is not going to pay off you've invested a lot of time into something and There is something you need to communicate, which is why I felt like massive lump in my throat as I was pulling the card. And my heart's flipping over now. So, yeah, you're scared of communicating this. Okay. 
something to do with the time and effort you've taken with something excuse me throat chakra is acting up now um external what's going on externally for you whoa okay well those are both both your energy uh but this is external so this is not you so you're dealing with somebody could be a taurus could be a boss could be a father figure uh grandfather um doesn't have to be a male but it's um a masculine energy so the king of earth this is somebody i mean it's in the positive so there's somebody around you who is very uh grounded very stable um very much like an experienced emperor right look at those horns those stag horns somebody who's got a huge amount of wisdom and experience very earthy very stable very grounded very very dependable i'm getting kind supportive so this is somebody i think who can help you somebody who i'm like wise like somebody wise words but there is some kind of conflict here with the five of fire so this can be fighting like arguing um conflict competition it could be competition you know maybe you've got you're going for something but there's somebody who's your competition you know you could be going for a job there's somebody who's your competition and then the devil is here, temptation. Now this is your energy, but you could be dealing with another Capricorn. The temptation could be money. Could be like tempted to, tempted to tempted to stay in a job um or family situation where there's a lot of conflict because of finances the temptation card the devil card means there's some kind of tie there's something that you're tied to there's something that you're chained to uh it can be addiction uh various addictions uh addicted to the addicted to addicted to the game addicted to winning addicted to you know fighting off the competition addicted to success beat, beating other people but it's not your energy so it could be someone else around you who's like this could be somebody who can advise you on how to beat the competition but I don't, I don't know why this devil card's here it could be stuck in a cycle of conflict with somebody who's i mean it could be a father figure but you're stuck in some kind of cycle of conflict i mean it doesn't mean you have a bad relationship with them it just means that you disagree about something or There could be unresolved conflicts that are keeping you in some kind of negative cycle. I don't know what that is. Take it as it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. What's your advice? Cappy, what's your advice? Getting a lot of cards. Messenger of fire and the world. Okay, you've been told to close out a cycle. I feel like you do know what, cy what cycle this is. Um, you, all, a little bit of history repeating. There's something going on where... No matter what you do, the same thing keeps happening. You can't break out of this cycle. You feel like you've not been able to break out of this cycle. So you're doing the same thing. Maybe that's why the devil is here. You're doing the same thing over and over again. And you need to do something different in order to close something out and move on from it. So your advice, close the cycle, complete the learning. If, you, if you're at university, this is like complete the learning, right? Uh, there's a lesson that you need to learn. The world card can also talk about the internet. So if you do something involving the internet, that could be a tool for you. Um, and it also talks about global travel. Uh, you may be literally moving, uh, but this is a, a massive lesson learned. This is Capricorn, learn the lesson, close the cycle. And move on to something that you, again, she's quite childlike on this card. Uh, so this is the Knight of Wands. Um, you need to follow your passions. You, there's some kind of wish going on for you here. Um, you need to do what you feel passionate about, what, what you know, lights that spark, that fire inside you. 
um, what motivates you, what makes you feel enthusiastic. Because when you put your energy into something that you feel enthusiastic about, it normally works out a lot better. The end product is normally a lot better than something that you're forced to do because you're stuck in some, you're chained to some kind of job or, you know, expectations of others. So close out a cycle, whatever that Groundhog Day thing is for you, I don't know what it is, whatever the Groundhog Day thing is for you, close it out. Do the things that make you feel passionate and excited and, and enthusiastic. Follow your follow your dreams, Capricorn, is what you're being told here. Um, I am going to pull you another advice card, so hold on for that. We're 35 minutes in. These are meant to be short readings. I'm sorry, Cappy. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you being here, I have to say. Um, outcome. What's the outcome, please, for Caps? Uh, you're coming out of hermit mode. So you've been solitary. You're coming out of hermit mode. So if you follow the advice here, if you felt a little bit like uh, shut out from a situation or closed closed off, like like you can't get through the door, um, look at all the keys there. It's like there's a door that's closed for you. You've been perhaps... Do you know what this could be? This could be you've been... Um, there's an old dream, an old wish that you hung on to. You got, you got a bit obsessed with some kind of old dream or wish. And I feel like it's something to do with like career or money um, or competition. And no matter what you did, that door was always close to you. Again, it's another number nine. So the number nines are getting close to completion. You're being told to complete. It could be a sense of wanting to be the best wanting to beat the competition, wanting to be the best. But it's not, it's kept you stuck in that Groundhog Day, right? Where actually when you do the reassessment and you go back to the basics, the basic sweet child inside you, <laughs> sweet child of mine, um, I think when you close out that cycle, it's not getting you any, anywhere and follow your passions, then the door will open. I heard as if by magic. It's like you've been banging your head like it's they show me a goat now because you're the goat in the in the um in astrology they show me a goat bashing its head repeatedly against a door and not getting anywhere not getting the door's not opening but then it's like you give up and the door opens is the way it's coming through could be dealing with a virgo this is virgo king of king of earth i would say normally is taurus but it can be any of the three earth signs for me normally so yeah, stop bashing, stop bashing your head against doors that aren't opening um, and then they'll magically open or something else will come along. Uh, there's your counterpart as well, uh, King and Queen of Earth here. So I feel like this is your energy. Um, this is Capricorn energy. This would be Taurus energy. This is a partnership. Um, equals. It's like, why do you have to come? Oh my God, they're shouting at me. <laughs> they're telling me it was coming out as it as it i was getting it it's why are you competing with somebody who's your equal why don't you team up why are you why are you constantly fighting with this person when they're your counterpart when they're your business partner more or less that's the way it's coming through so i don't know if that is relevant to you at all or not take it if it resonates leave it if it doesn't they shattered it at me for somebody um right let's get you a song on camera <laughs> you're the first sign that's going to go over the 40 minute mark and I was aiming to do 15 20 minute readings so do you know I hope you don't feel like I'm wasting your time because I feel like you're wasting mine as well <laughs> I could have got two readings done in this time Capricorn why are you so interesting right okay Capricorn there you go don't look back Peter Doherty don't look back his, it's, a, it's history repeating, close the cycle, don't look back. Um, what does that say? The Last of the English Roses. Um, I love that song. So don't look back, close the door, don't look back, and then a new door will open. So let's get you, um, that's your advice. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, make your dreams real, real is apparently what wanted to come out. So there you go, there you are, dreaming, like, no, knowing what your north star is knowing what your dreams are reassessing getting down to the core of the matter and you've been told now spider spirit make your dreams real so let me just find that page i didn't even ask it just came out it was like this is what capricorn needs to do 
Okay. It is, again, very industrious. Uh, sorry for those of you who don't like spiders. Just kind of avert your eyes. I'll tell you when the spider's gone. Uh, well, I'm going to close out the reading now anyway. So you just avert your eyes until the reading ends. Also noticing it's almost got like a butterfly on its bum there. Uh, so again, this kind of transformation energy. Uh, the spider does really give me uh, earth sign energy, Capricorn energy, because, excuse me, so sorry. It's like um, they're very industrious. They work really hard. They kind of uh, master master the craft and there's something as well about inheritance or like um, inherited um, behavior right they just they're born and they just know that their destiny is to spin a web uh, so there's creation here I feel like with the messenger of fire there's something you want to create um, make your dreams real this is your advice weaving your dreams into the fabric of life begins with a single thread of intention which you're at that point right here right this is the heart of the matter you've got the intention and then spirit joins you as your co-weaving partner. Perhaps this is somebody on the other side for you. Perhaps this is somebody in spirit who is helping you manifest, right? I don't know. Um, maybe maybe it's my granddad. <laughs> granddad, that you? Um, take what's a single step to make your dream a reality and spirit will take 10 towards you. For the universe is designed to support your dream weaving. Spider spirit arrives when you need reminding of the awesome power of co-creation. And I was saying that, why are you fighting with this person when they're, you're, they're there to co-create with you? Um, with spirit. Ideas and resources will begin to appear as if by magic. As if by magic! Oh my god, no way! I said that. Isn't that what I said? The door will open as if by magic? The same phrase? That, oh my, that is... I love when that happens. Ideas and resources will begin to appear as if by magic as you begin to bring your dreams from the realm of intention into the world of the, into the world of the senses where they take form. The action you need to take is to be clear about your intentions and that's what you're working on. You get into the essence, right? Uh, what it all boils down to is what I'm hearing. And then act as if you have become the one that lives the life you desire fake it till you make it. <laughs> the web of creation has an uncanny way of coming together to weave the beautiful pattern you set in motion. Another message, my heart just left, another message of the spider spirit is about any creative project you might be considering. Writing, painting, music, journaling, gardening, I can't make this up, this is exactly what I was saying. Um, now is the time when inspiration wants to be channeled through you as something creative, even artistic and tangible. Creative projects are successful now. If you are so inclined, the creative projects are su successful now if you are so inclined. Let yourself be open to abundance. Let it go, let it flow, Cappy. Follow your passions. Don't worry about the things you can't control. Follow your passions. Close out those negative cycles uh, and the doors will magically open by for you. What is it? Um, Oh, open sesame. Oh, uh, uh, that's Aladdin, isn't it? Open sesame. All right, maybe say say that to yourself in the mirror. Maybe be a bit goofy and go and say, imagine what you want and say, open sesame. And just see see what happens. All right, I hope those doors unlock for you, Cappy. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Leave me a like, leave me comments if you feel like anything particularly resonated. Really positive reading. I'm so excited for it. Share it with your Cappy friends if you think it'll help them. And uh, all these things really help out my channel. And Capricorn, time is money. What are you doing sat here listening to my reading? Go, go, go and make your dreams real. <laughs> make Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. I want you to be happy. Do take care and I'll see you again soon.